Someone send help. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I tried out those Pebio Fantasy Prism paints and I wasn't feeling them. I didn't like them at all. I was just incredibly underwhelmed and disappointed. So today I'm hoping Pebio redeems itself and I'm going to be using some of their ceramic paints and painting a bunch of different bowls and plates. I don't even know what's in here. Yeah. Just plates and balls. I'm going to be painting some paints and balls today. I think that'll be fun. It also sounds very adult, painting plates and balls. I'm just getting on, aren't I? I'm still years old, so it's fine. It's okay. I'm still young at heart. Okay, I think we'll start by doing a little unboxing. So I bought this little kit online and it's like a really nice presentation kit. It comes in drawers and stuff. I don't know how much I spent on this. I'll put it up on the screen for you. I don't think it was too expensive, but it looks like we get 10 colors in here and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, that's nice. It comes in like a little box. I'll reuse that. Oh, how cool is that? That's some really good presentation. I'm into that. Ah, oh, this is well nice. For some reason, I thought that I just bought like a box of paints. I wasn't expecting to get all this stuff in it. I'll reuse this little box thing, but obviously not for this paint. I've got to draw dedicated to all my paints. Okay, so the paint colors we've got in here, I've got cherry red, cyclamen. What the hell is cyclamen? I've never heard of that color before. I have never heard of that word before used as a color. Cyclamen. It obviously looks like a pinky peach colour. How have I never heard of that word? Cyclamen. I don't know whether that's just me or whether that's a new word for anyone else, but it's got one of them in there. We have some orange, rich yellow, white. This is another one I've never heard of. Sevres blue. Sevres. Sounds like it's in a different language. There, Sevres blue. It's another new one to me. I'm not sure whether it's a new one to anyone else. I might just be incredibly uneducated, but it's got one of them in there. We have turquoise, leaf green, black, and rich gold. One thing I find strange is it goes from naming their colours to literally just orange to then naming one instead of naming it like pink to cyclamen. You would think they would at least call this like tangerine or something. But that's a nice little collection. I'm excited about using them. So in this kit as well, we have a relief outliner. Is this in a certain colour? I've got my glasses on and I still can't read. Oh, it's in silver. Okay, that's a strange colour to include, but... Alright, I'd have preferred a black one. Oh, I've got a black one. Never mind. A little tiny pointless palette. A sponge. A paintbrush. And then a little booklet. Well, I say a little booklet, it's ginormous. It's like a massive pamphlet. I assume this is just all about their different products. Yeah, it is. They've got like the textile paints and stuff. Okay, I'll, well, I might keep that actually. I might read it in bed tonight. Okay, that's good. Cool. Right, I'll put all this stuff back because otherwise I'll lose it. Right, I just want to check on these paints because I have a feeling you have to bake them in the oven and they can be mixed together, stir well, it air dries, keep out of reach of children. Do you not have to bake them in the oven? No way. I could have sworn you had to bake these in the oven. Why do they write so small on bottles? I'm just I'm gonna check the little pamphlet again just in case I'm missing something because if I miss something and I get shouted at I, I just don't want to get shouted at in the comments. I usually skim over stuff but I've read all the rules on the pots. Ah oh, that's cute. It even says to like decorate your little box. I might do that another time. Okay, it definitely doesn't say that you have to bake it in the oven in any of the instructions on any of the pots in the instruction booklet anywhere. So I'm assuming you don't have to, which is great because it means I get to skip a step. Okay, well, I suppose we'll start painting some plates now. I just bought this nice big box of dinnerware. I think I just got it. No, I don't think I just got it from. I did get it from the range. Not sponsored. I love the range. I also love Dunelm. If you're not in the UK, you won't know what them shops are, I don't think, but they're fantastic and you're missing out. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some little bowls, some dinner plates, and some little tiny side plates, which are pointless because you can't fit any food on them. That wouldn't fill me up. That's a child size. I would never fit a whole pizza on there. Right, I think we'll start with a big plate. I'm just going to give them a little wipe over because they feel a bit dusty. And you want your surface to be nice and clean when you're painting on stuff. Okay, so for my first design, I wanted to do a Jackson Pollock splatter kind of design. I think that'll be fun. Now, what colours do I want to use? I think I'll obviously use some of that cyclamen or whatever. I'll use some blue. I'll use some black. Oh, I'll go for yellow and red and turquoise. Maybe a bit of green as well. Basically every colour. Do I want to do it with a straw or should I do it with a paintbrush? Oh, the thing is it's a very like oil-based paint so I want to avoid paintbrushes as much as I can so I don't have to wash them. I'll use a straw. Okay, so let's just get super creative and very abstract with this. I'm 
I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that's super fun. That's really, really, like, modern, contemporary, conceptual art. I would happily eat my dinner off that. I can't show you, like, them up close because as soon as I move this, all the paint's gonna, like, drip everywhere. I'm also curious as to whether the paint can actually dry when it's applied quite thickly. But I'm gonna put them all to one side anyway, and we'll wait for them to dry, and I'll show you what they're gonna look like. But I'll kind of tilt it, but that's what it looks like at the minute. I'm kind of into it. I'm, I'm very into it, actually. And there was absolutely no skill involved either, which is... Points, points for that. Okay, so I thought another really fun design would be to kind of pour all the paint into a bowl and then kind of swish it around, swirl it around, tip it out and do kind of like a pourry water marble kind of bowl. I think that'll be really fun. And I'm just gonna use every single color for this one. I didn't use every single colour last time. Also, I do have a feeling that the paint, once it's dry, it's gonna actually be quite a decent paint. It's got like a good feeling about it. The last one didn't have a nice feeling about it. This one does. Feels very kind of like opaque, but also... It's a weird way to describe a paint, but it feels sticky. It feels like it's gonna like go on your plate, go on your ceramics, and it's gonna stay there for a long time, which is obviously what you want. So maybe that's why you don't need to bake it. Anyway, let's get some pouring done. This'll be fun. Oh, that gold's well nice. Let me just pour a bit out, just to show you. It was really, really sexy. Look at that, oh, that's luxurious. It's really, really nice. All right, more color, more, more color. You can never have too much. When I said you can't have too much, I think I've actually added too much paint to this. I should have added less, but never mind. Right, I just want to kind of swirl it around. is gonna be such a nice design. I don't wanna try and mix the colors too much. Right to the edges. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's all over my hands. Oh, it's gone all the way down the side. I didn't want to, oh. oh this is, it's too much. Someone send help. I need to put it down. I can't, I've got nowhere to put it. I need some more paper. Um, oh, right. Hang on, I'll go get another bit of paper. It's getting everywhere. I don't feel like I was prepared for this. Right. I feel like that drastically got out of hand. I want to see if this comes off. I didn't want it on here. I didn't think this through, did I? I didn't think it through at all. Ah, well, that could be a nice design, couldn't it? Kind of smeared. We'll do a smeary design on the outside since it's it's everywhere. Thing is it's a kind of paint that just gets absolutely all over the place. How am I going to move this now? Oh hang on that one's leaking everywhere. <laughs> this is going wrong. Right lollipop stick to the rescue. Oh, that still looks really nice though. It's it's quite dark, so you're not gonna be able to see all the details, but you can see all the color in there. I'll put that to one side, we'll see what happens when it's dry. If you're gonna paint some ceramics and using this paint, I would highly recommend you wear gloves, especially if you're doing it the way I'm doing it and being very messy and very chaotic because it is like an oil, sticky, solvent-based paint. It's just really hard to wash off and I've got it absolutely everywhere. It's all over the studio now. <sighs> I'm gonna spend so long cleaning all this up, but anyway, I'm going to move on to another plate and this time I want to try and create a more controlled design and I think I'll use some of the little relief outliners. I'm pretty sure I know how this works. Funnily enough, last week I will have recorded the blind Pinterest challenge, which I haven't done yet, I haven't even started it, but I'm using one of these I think in gold and I'm hoping it went okay, but this is the actual first time I'm using it. I think it basically acts as like a barrier between paints. It would help if I could get the top off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what shall I design? I might try and go for like a little person, like kind of like a pop art kind of plate. Well, I say I'm going for pop art. I don't fully understand what I'm going for. I'll know once it's done. <laughs> I'm not going for pop art. I'm definitely not going for pop art. I'm going for child cartoon. That's what I'm going for. Oh, I've done some like nice 90s eyebrows. Super thin. Years ago, my eyebrows used to look like that. I used to tweeze them and tweeze them and pluck them and shave them. And I barely had any eyebrows left. I'm sure sometimes they don't even grow back in certain places because I just like shredded them. I'm not doing any hair at ears because that's too complicated. I don't have steady hands. I'm proper shaking. Okay, that, that looks... 
amateurish. I was gonna say it's got a South Park vibe to it, but South Park drawings are way better than this. Right, now add some colour. I'm wondering whether this black is gonna kind of mix in with the colours. It's supposed to act as a barrier. I don't know whether I'm supposed to leave it to dry. I hope not, because I can't be bothered. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say so. We'll try it. I might make this face green. I'll use this little horrible mixing palette that they gave us. Because this green's really dark, I want it to be a bit lighter. And I'm pretty sure it said you can mix these paints. Oh yeah, that mixed up fine. I feel like I can't talk today, which is like every other day to be fair. Oh, this is like a nice sage green. Feels very kind of elegant and sophisticated, which is kind of at odds with the subject matter, but that's fine. The black doesn't seem to be going into the paint, so that's good. I think as they're both very different consistencies. I feel like I need to have a super, super steady hand for this. And for some reason, my hands are shaking. Like, there's no tomorrow. I've had my coffee, so I should be fine. Maybe I've had too much coffee. I've only had one. No, I've had two. That's a lie. It is quite a nice paint to work with, though, if anyone's wondering. It's like, a, it's just an easy paint to work with. It kind of, like, glides on, and it's very wet. As if I just described a paint, saying it's very wet. Duh. As if, like, not all paints are pretty wet. My review of Pebio ceramic paints. They're wet. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I've just added some green into the lips. I didn't mean to. I'm not going to even attempt to try and get that out. I'll try and fix it when I come to paint the lips. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of into that. I think it looks so fun. Kind of looks like a frog. I am tempted to do something here, just like a pattern. No, I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna stop myself for once in my life. Okay, so I think that's all the ceramic paint I'm gonna do for today. Mainly because I wasn't expecting to do something like this, this very intricate piece of fine art, which has taken me an incredible amount of time. I'm also curious to see how long this ceramic paint's gonna take to dry, especially because you're not baking it in the oven. I've laid it on pretty thick, so I'm thinking it's gonna take a good few days. I think the last lot of Pebio paint, the honeycomb stuff that I used, I think that took about four days for it to fully dry, especially like the thicker ones. And I've actually really enjoyed myself today. It's been a nice little painting day. I've, re I've really liked it. I've, I found it quite calming, even though it probably came across quite chaotic at some points, but overall I'm, I'm feeling very <sighs> relaxed. But anyway, I'll see you when these are fully dry and we'll see what they look like, see what the finished effect is, and hopefully they look all right. I'm sure they will. So surprisingly, these paints, they haven't taken long to dry at all. I'm actually quite shocked. <laughs> I think they took about four or five hours to fully dry. The ceramics where I'd laid the paint slightly thicker took a little bit longer, but it didn't take days like I was expecting. So here's my finished Jackson Pollock inspired plate. And I think that looks really cool. The paint does have like a nice shiny finish to it. It's not like a matte paint and it does feel tactile. It feels very textured. I'm proper into that. It's definitely my kind of style. And here's the bowl that gave us a little bit of grief. Don't know whether you're gonna be able to see inside. It is dark and there's some colors there, but it's definitely not as vibrant as it was because I got carried away when it came to the mixing part. However, I have painted the other side blue, mainly because that smudgy, scratchy, shitty finish that I did on this side, it was just awful. It looked horrible when it was dry. And that's just one coat, so it could probably do with another one. But I think that's fun. It goes from like a nice light blue, fun and colorful to like dark and mysterious. And then we have my little cartoon plate who I've decided to name Platy. And they're gonna be the new mascot for the channel. This is what you're gonna see from now on. It's Platy's channel. But I actually think it's quite cool and a bit silly. And again, it's really textured, like that black liner. It's really red but it just it feels very nice, very tactile. So that just about does it for testing out some of Pebio's ceramic paint and doing a little bit of ceramic painting. And it's safe to say that me and Pebio were mates again. We're mates after that horrible fantasy prison paint. The ceramics paints have really won me over. And I think I would do this again. I think I would happily decorate some different plates and mugs and bowls and stuff. It was so much fun. It was a really, really good activity. I really enjoyed myself. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are on our new mascot, Platy. I'm gonna rebrand the whole channel. It's all about Platy now. <laughs>